Hey everyone, I am here in a Lowe's parking lot this morning to run some tests on the new GVS2, which is now available for pre-order at www.glowvoltage.com. That's glow with an E, G-L-O-W-E. And I've been hearing a lot of people saying, you know, I don't believe that for $500 you can run an 8,000 watt amp, plus some, I have also a 550 in there, um, without upgrading your alternator. So I'm going to run this test with the car on, and then I'm going to run it with the car off even. So we will have a, you know, a good comparison, no charging at all. Um, I don't think we're going to drop below 12 volts, but we will, we'll see on the test. And then, so we have a good point of comparison. I'm going to hook up a standard lead acid battery and do the same tests and compare the results side by side and discuss what we find out. I haven't run this test before, so I, I hope it turns out, you know, like I expect it to, but we're going to find out now. Alright, so going to start the first test with uh, glow voltage with the car running. Um, we're at full charge here, you can see. And I'm just going to start the song and turn the volume. You really me and we'll monitor the voltage. This is this is the only battery in the car. Telling me that they want to repossess my car. You know, I just had to say to them. So pausing it, um, the lowest I saw was the high 12 nines, but I will be able to tell that with the data. Um, next, uh, once this gets charged back up, uh, I'm going to turn the car completely off. So we will run the same test with no charging. Okay, so the car is off. Um, you can see I have about 30 amps of draw here. Um, that is due to my lighting, but that's okay, because we're gonna test it for myself. So here it goes, car they turned really off. They really fucked me over. Like they were crazy. So now I've got the other people telling me that they want to repossess my car. You know, I just had to say to them, look, I'm sorry.
the full song with the car off. Um, you can see the voltage is coming back up a bit. It still has the 30 amps of draw from my underglow, but regardless, it's jumping back up. It's already back up to 13.1. Um, definitely didn't see anything below 12 volts, and that was with the car turned off. So alternator completely irrelevant there. Uh, full tilt on a Slaps 8K. It's the same board as the Sundown SFB. Um, that's how I have it all hooked up. And that's the measuring device back there. That is the shunt. And that's what's leading to the graphical display here. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a lead acid battery and disconnect this one and we will do the same tests on lead acid. Okay, so you can see I disconnected the positive terminal from the glow voltage battery. I've hooked up the standard lead acid battery, started my car. Um, here's the voltage and now I, uh, same test. And this is what the car ran. So now I've got the other people telling me that they want to repossess my car. You know, I just had to say to them, look, I'm sorry. So I think that's the, okay, so um, just a couple seconds into the song, my amplifier was already going into protect, so I'm not going to risk damaging the battery, but um, that was with the car on with stock charging. So even with the car on, the standard lead acid battery immediately started falling to the tens. Um, standard lead acid battery, like a, a OEM battery, not okay for 8K, whereas the, the glow voltage battery, I mean, it made it look pretty easy. Did it with the car off and never even dropped below 12 volts. Um, so there you have it. All right, everyone, it's time for the Encore. Um, the battery's not completely charged, but it's charged enough. It's also pretty cold outside, so it's not gonna be at optimal temperatures, but we are going to uh, do another test, an Encore, if you will, and we're going to play much more bass-heavy music and see what happens when we expose this to some real draw. So um, I'm gonna turn the car off and go ahead and start the test, see how we do. the 
So there it was. Um, it's already back up to 13, the 13s, and go ahead and start the car back up. And we did not drop below 12 volts that entire time. So um, there you have it one battery. Um, I don't know anything that's even close to comparable in cost. With the car off, we just went full tilt on an 8K. I was even clipping it a bit just to make sure that we were getting high amperage draws, um, well into the 300s there. The proof's in the pudding. I mean, I just showed you guys exactly how you can expect the Glow Voltage Series 2 to perform. Um, check it out. I think it's the by far, by far the best bang for your buck currently. Um, if you have any questions, I can be reached at Seth at Glow Voltage. That's Glow with an E, G L O W E, voltage.com. Um, just let me know. And in case anyone was wondering, this is the vehicle we've been using to test. 